welcome to chennai folks trading please like share and subscribe channel so here whenever you are having a two dimensions whenever you are representing a two dimensions data you cannot use more than one method at that time if but if you wanted to represent a more than one measure you have an option called tool tip so whenever you use a tool tip you are able to see everything is displayed as part of your tool tip okay so that is what i referred as two dimensions more than one measure will not be possible if you have you can use it at tool tip so that it will not change the structure but whenever you hover it is going to get the data displayed so these are the different combinations that you can work whenever you are working with any visualization okay so don't try to use it more than two dimensions at a time or don't try to use more than two dimensions whenever you are using a two dimensions or whenever you are having a multiple measures don't try to use a two dimensions so this is what the basic principle and now here the focus mode you know that what is the focus mode and uh, let me remove all these things whenever you have two dimensions and if you want to represent a more than one method then you will use a tool tip wherever you see a tool tip wherever you see the tool tip the same concept is there even for a donut like uh, even for a gaz also we have a tool tip is there in to cover the same concept now you have the minimum maximum target value other than that if you want to represent something else okay you want to represent okay fine Hello? so fine so if i want to represent some profit percentage or how much money that i need to get which is nothing but the difference between these two things i am able to represent what is my target and what i achieved but i need to if i can showcase how much still i need to get it how much percentage that i achieved or how much percentage that i still need to get if i can showcase that one that is really good do you have the options for it we don't have where you can represent that one that can be represented with the help of a tool tip you need to calculate them on your dax expressions and you can represent with the help of a tool tip fine so that is what the tool tips option now here export data you can export it see the data the data associated with that visualization can be showcased and if you want to remove it if you want to highlight it or if you want to sort it based on a state name you can sort it and sort by amount paid if you want to sort based on the amount paid you can sort it this sorting will be showcased in a anti clock direction always remember that one the anti clockwise direction that will be represented whatever you can see like this side only that is what sorting is available and the properties available here are legend if you want to enable legend you can enable it legend is nothing but what color represents what here it is we are using a three like a dimension with the three different values so three colors are there what color is representing what is displaying here and where you want to represent top or a bottom or a left or a right or a top center or a bottom center or a left center wherever you want you can specify that one and a title you want to enable a title which means the column name by default the column name will come by default the column name will come from where you are getting these values or you can specify your own value there and the color what color you want to represent for that legend values and a font family what family you want to represent what is the size that is what legend configuration data colors by default those colors are came if you want to change the colors you can change it from here whatever the color that you want you can change it and detail labels detail labels we have three types of labels are there mainly those are category category is nothing but the value column value so if i represent a category 
each diamond like each category what it is representing it's the maharashtra tamil nadu and the place it is representing you want to display the category names or you want to represent the value re let me increase the font first of all you want to represent a category or you want to represent a value or you want to represent a percent of that hundred what you want to represent you can select it here those are the first three things second one category with a data label category with a percentage will be available and a third one those three things will be available like data label with uh, percentile and those three things if you want to represent you can represent here category value and percentage that is what detailed labels and the title background general and border are same whatever we had a discussion so this is a pie chart if you want to represent your information through a visualization the basic visualization that you have is pie chart pie chart and bar chart the pie chart is this one and the configuration we already saw whatever you can do with the pie chart these are the things next to it we have a donut chart is there it is having a hundred percent the same configuration but the only thing is the way of representation the way of representation so that is going to fill a complete circle and it is going to have the different shape different visualization see let's assume you need to represent a five visuals you cannot use a five pie charts right so the same way whatever you can represent in a pie chart that can be represented with the help of a donut also and the same configuration which are available with that pie chart so all the options are same at the time of practice you can verify everything so we have legend values tool tip and details details is nothing but a second dimension if you want to provide a second dimension you can use it here okay and remaining all configuration is same pi and a donut that is about donut chart the way of representation is different it is a different visualization that's it and tree map chart tree map it is having one extra new option called color saturation and so it is another visualization to represent the data here you have a group is there the group also same first dimension what is your first dimension my first dimension is state and and the second one is the amount paid and if i want to represent another dimension city name if i want to represent a measure it will not be possible it will be overridden it will not be possible till here the concept is same and if you want to represent something you have amount like two tip is there when you hover it you is going to get displayed now color saturation is there the color saturation is nothing but whenever you want to represent the values with the color without changing the structure with the color only you want to re represent at the time color saturation concept is there whenever you have a high value high value high color will be displayed whenever you have low value the color will get saturated now if you want to use it if you want to use that one color saturate like uh, color saturation the field that you are using as part of color saturation also measure whenever you are already have a two dimensions can we use a second measure no so you cannot now you can test it if you want to test that one let me create that one as a multiple groups now the color saturation based on the pending amount now you can see that it is representing city wise amount paid along with the pending amount also city wise amount paid and pending amount this area is going to represent how much amount paid the higher the area higher amount paid but the color is representing pending amount higher the color the higher pending amount so you can see 38 you can see 28 19 like 2 and 920 and here 1000 it is getting saturated so the color is getting saturated based on the amount paid high to low you can see
okay you can see wherever you have thickness you have a high amount like high pending amount wherever you have less the less pending amount so color saturation is nothing but based on this measure whatever you are providing the color will get saturated from high to low and a tool tip that you know okay so what you need to understand is the color saturation whatever you are using that is also comes under a measure that also will applicable all the points that we discussed here it will be considered as a measure now the configuration like focus mode that you know and export data show data remove spotlight that you already know legend even if you enable a legend which will not make much sense why because we used a color saturation the color will get saturated that value solid is getting displayed but anyways legend configuration i already explained and data colors data colors previously you observed for each category you have a separate color right but here it is different why because based on the value the colors are getting changed so you can specify what is the minimum value that you want to consider what is the maximum value that you want to consider let's assume one second fine so let's assume this color search by default the color saturation will be taken care by the power bi but let's assume i want to set my own limits what is the maximum value what is the minimum value at that time let's assume my maximum value of a pending amount is 1000 which means if i get a 1000 i am fine with that so that see wherever the 1000 is there wherever more than that 1000 is there you are able to see that color which means all are in safe zone you can specify the minimum value also let's assume the minimum value for that amount to paid is 3000 so you can specify your minimum and maximum values for that color saturation or you can specify here for a minimum value what color you want to represent removing this one for a minimum value what color i want to represent and a maximum value what color i want to represent i can show case so you can specify the minimum and maximum values limits also over here so that based on that the color will get saturated and data labels if you want to enable data labels you can enable it and what is the text size like how you want to represent and uh, decimal places the text size you can specify the text size and font family category labels are nothing but these ones category labels what is the text size and with what color you want to represent and title general background everything is same we already had a discussion this is a tree map visualization you have an extra property called color saturation color saturation based on the value the color will get saturated any questions up to here whatever the visualization that we discussed so far